here at the uh, Bell booth. We got a uh, mulcher here. We got a uh, disc mulcher. And then uh, <clears throat> a brush cutter here. He's telling me I can cut up to uh, 10 inch trees with this one. And then this product over here is a tree puller. And the only one I've ever seen is uh, Dan User's tree puller, but they got this new design. Apparently, it just came out this year. So, anyway. Supposedly, it has a bigger cylinder than the Dan User one. Uh, he said it was a little bit longer up here. So I'd be interested to try one of these out for doing some clearing for fits. I think it work pretty good to uh, pull out some T-posts and some trees at a fence line. So maybe uh, we could demo one of these or something maybe in the near future. the uh, Vail booth we got Adam here he's going to tell us a little bit about some of their products we're going to go around and look at some uh, brush cutters and uh, they got a disc mulcher and a drum mulcher here all right this is our 77 inch brush cutter it's got high flow and standard flow capabilities good for up to 10 inch material it will do grass a lot of these cutters won't do grass we have a, a three quarter inch blade cutting swinging blade here but underneath it also it has a a mulching knife right here with some release cut in it so it can process the material everything on these cutters is extremely heavy duty um, we run a specialized motor just for these cutters um, that really don't produce a lot of heat they hold torque very well these cutters also if you look over here on the other side of it we have replaceable skids it's something a lot of companies don't do. I don't know why, but we have the replaceable skids. We have a extremely quality paint that you're gonna have trouble knocking it off. You ain't gonna have a rusty cutter here in the next week or two. We we pride ourselves in the paint we paint these things with. Um, we have a a really close center of gravity cutter here. We pull it back to the machine where you can actually run this on a way smaller machine than you think you could. I mean, what is this rated for? This one here is, this is the high flow. It's from 25 to 40 GPMs. We have a standard flow that's from 15 to 25 GPMs. Um, you just get with your dealer that you're buying it from and we size the, the cutter to the machine you're going at. Is it size to the hydraulic requirements? Yes, or the it's, it's a little bit of both okay. there. So you can actually have a 90 horsepower machine, but it's still a standard flow. So you'd want to stay in that standard flow, which that would be a 7715 style. This here is the high flow model, it's the 7720. Looking at them, you cannot tell the difference. The only difference is the motor inside. Um, these are direct driven, um, no gearbox or something like that to fail, nothing to rob your torque. It's direct driven motor. Does it have a case drain line? Yes, it does run a case drain line. Okay. Um, it does run your three three hoses. Okay. Yeah, but the center gravity is the, one of the main main points of this versus some of the competition involved. Um, it just being a lot shorter than some of the other other cutters. A lot of the other cutters is roughly a foot to a foot and a half longer away from the machine, which which makes a lot of difference with you you being able to do the work and stay comfortable in the machine without bouncing yourself all over the place. Is this a 72? This is actually a 77. 77. We also make, one? no we make an 85, 85, but we make it also in a standard and a high flow. Really? Okay. What, was this the smallest whip? Yeah, this is the smallest whip oh, here. Okay. Are we talking about this mulcher? Yeah, we, we got our drum mulcher. This has a lot of great features that that we put in it. Um, we actually, the gauges back here, a lot of people don't run these, but this is for setting up a mulcher to tune it to each individual machine. Um, you can take this same cutter and run it on a 75 horse machine. 
or you can put it on a 140 horse machine, the same exact mulching head. You just tune it to each individual hydraulic system. Now, do you guys build these solely yourselves? Yes, we do build these solely. Everything Vail makes, you guys make we them. make in-house. We don't put anything out. Um, you come on around, we have a K-strain protection valve. Something happens to your K-strain hose. That's this here. Instead of it blowing a motor up or blowing a seal out, it's going to put a little oil out, but you get the machine or whatever messed up, you go back to work instead of spending money on a new motor or a new seal. Our bearings, our belts, is non proprietary. We, we take pride in doing stuff like that so the end user can go to a bearing house or a belt house and buy the parts if they have to so they ain't got to wait on us to ship it to them. We can ship it to them. But if someone breaks down, we won't be able to get going back as fast as you can go. So that's the reason we do not proprietary stuff like that. We have eight individual liners in here. That is half inch thick material, which, which that does where you can replace one instead of the whole liner. Um, a lot of mulches, you have to drop the whole drum out. We made it where you can just unbolt one piece, put a piece back, whatever you gotta do. We have multiple different options on teeth, and we're going to the same holder, where you just, whatever ground you're in, you pick the tooth that, the, that you need. We have multiple different carbide, a couple different steel knives. Um, it just depends on what you want and, and what you need for the area that you're working in. Now, are you guys solely look? Uh, high flow on the mulchers or you so, have low flow? No, solely whole, high, high flow, but you okay. can, this is tunable from 25 to 55 plus GPMs. Okay, so. Um, so you can run it into some of your small, your your higher GPM yeah. low flow machines. Okay. So you can do that, but you the more horsepower, more flow, more pressure, the better this, right. this yeah. one's going to actually do. Um, you can do it with some of your smaller machines. It just ain't going to act as well as some of the bigger, higher horsepower, higher flow, higher pressure machines. Um, the push bar has is, is got three different adjustments in it. You take the bolt out and just put it where you need to go for pushing your material. Um, you guys have one that has an adjustable door on the We front. do not have to run a door on this, no. this cutter because if you'll notice, we have this bent lip here. Well, when you you can position it where to put your material right out here, or you lean it back a little bit, you put your material out in front of you. That's one of the things that we looked at. We've done that. Instead of a customer having to spend two to $2,500 on putting a door on the front of it, right. well, that option's already on here. A lot simpler. And less, you, less ain't got a, to you haven't got a hydraulic cylinder laying up yeah. on top to break. No electric. Yeah, you ain't drives. got no electric. You ain't got nothing. It's, these machines have a... In integrated hydraulic brake. Um, this mulcher out of the factory is set to stop within 13 seconds. Wow. You can stop it as down as low as five seconds from the full speed of 2700 RPMs down to full stop in, in five seconds if you want to. We recommend staying around 13 seconds. Um, but that's, that's the main thing on these. Um, we did look after the end user a lot with this mul this mulching head because of the off-the-shelf parts available for it. Um, you can go anywhere and buy our teeth. If you haven't got to come back to us, we'd like you to come back to us, but if you want a cheaper option, they are out there and, and available for you. That's about it on, on this. Um, this here is a brand new item for us. Um, this is actually number one. We're leaving the show with it, going to, to a dealer it's already sold to. Um, very heavy attachment. We have a little longer forks than the standard is on the in this. Um, a little heavier material, a little larger cylinders, a little heavier in different spots. Um, you can really Whatever you think you can latch to, you can pull it up out of the ground. And what is that, one inch? Yeah, almost? it's one inch material there. Um, we beefed up the, the mounting on the back of it because a lot of the other ones yeah. you see, they have a lot of braking problem here. Yeah. And honestly, in probably some of our first research, that's where we've seen a, a weak point. Um, 
we do a lot of R&D before we let anything come to market because uh, we don't like problems. Right. All of our attachments, they all have a one-year motor, one-year motoring bearing or hydraulic warranty, and three years on the structure. We got got to build great attachments to be able to stand behind that right. kind of warranty. Uh, so where are you guys out of mainly? We're we're from Horton, Kansas, where Kansas. where we're built at. Okay. We build everything in house in Horton, Kansas. Um, Ninety-eight percent of our stuff is all U.S. based. Um, we have one motor we have to get from somewhere else, but because that's the only place you right. can get it. Yeah. Um, we pride ourselves in buying stuff and selling stuff in the United States. U.S. steel from all the way. U.S. bearings, motors, as much as we can. All right, guys. Well, appreciate you guys tuning in for us here at the Bell booth. And Adam, he did a great job here describing the Bell products for us. So thank you, Adam. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you.